This 11 does not disappoint. There are big names all over the Indy 11 tonight. Definitely a lot of big names, two talent-packed rosters. For me, it's going to be an uphill battle in the middle of the park for Chicago. They have young leaders in Pereba and Osorio, but tonight they'll have a tall task to contain USL veterans such as Jack Blake and Tyler Gibson. Well, Chicago Fire coming off a 5-5 draw in MLS Next Pro. Last time out, Osorio and Pereba combined to score all five of those goals. They came from 4-0 down to grab a point. Well, it's got Midwest bragging rights on the line, a potential spot in the round of 32 up for grabs. Chicago get us started going from left to right in their red kits here at Seat Geek Stadium. Indy 11 are in their road blues with the light blue shoulders. It's the first ever competitive meeting between these two. However, they did meet in a friendly back in February. Indy came to Illinois and won by two goals to nil. But this one has a lot more riding on it. And Indy are not going to waste any time. Try to get into the attack here with Douglas Martinez into the middle. It's still up for grabs. Chance to maybe get a shot away there with Ben Mines, who tries to stay on it for Indy. Twisting and turning as he goes down. Referee Peter Bernardi tells him to get up. It's a frantic start. It's an Indy throw. It's a good aggressive start from Indy. He's a classic youth versus experience, but the one common denominator, Sebastian, is that there's talent all over the pitch for both sides. Definitely. It'll be an exciting game. We'll see how it plays out in the next 90. Of course, we'll be keeping you abreast of all the other Open Cup action as we move along this evening. It's a rash challenge from behind by Elliot Collier. Our coach Ludovic Tayondier's group gets a free kick. Chicago Fire FC2, fifth in the Eastern Conference at the moment. In MLS next pro, just one win. But they do have three draws and they've won two shootouts that have given them extra points for those unfamiliar with the next pro rules. It's a chance for Chicago inside the penalty area and the shot comes in from Jason Shukaluk who scored in round two against Madison. That's saved from Yannick Ertzel. That is one thing that Coach Ludo's group always brings to the table. They are an attacking threat. There's a ton of attacking talent. Indy's 11, they're gonna bring some pressure as Indy tends to do as well. That's gonna be one of the very interesting factors as this third round tie moves along. Who's gonna be able to control the tempo and force the issue because both of these teams tend to do that against their league opponents. Indy also with just one win in the USL Championship so far this season, but they've been through a gauntlet of a schedule. Just played the Charleston Battery last time out. It was a 4-2 defeat after they played Louisville City on CBS. They lost by five goals to three. So the goals have been coming. They've also been conceding quite a few, nine in the last two. And Sean McCauley did not mince any words with us in our talk with him earlier this week. He says that cannot continue to happen We've been conceding way too many goals. We'll see if tonight could be a step in the right direction. They'll certainly be tested against another attack-minded side. Now's the time of the season to get those kinks out of the way. With When you're bleeding goals, especially early in the season, it's good because you can learn from it and take things from it and hopefully fix them. And so we'll see that tonight. Nice ball in behind, that was a chance for Blake. Blake plays it back into Martinez, who finishes beautifully for the Indy 11. Inside of four minutes, the team from the USL Championship continue their scoring ways, and they lead here by a goal to nil. Great start for Indy. And it's the counter press there, he lays it off, and it's such a clean finish into the side netting. He does well. 30 minutes outside of Chicago. They are the fans you can hear celebrating, and they might have more to celebrate here. Blake is in, 
And a good save by Los. Maybe could have taken the shot on a bit earlier. Chicago still stretched. It's Martinez with a volley. Another chance from Collier. He goes over the top. Such a lovely turn there. Coffey. Shook a look. And Ofemu is there for Indy. The two players they acquired in that move. Miami. Ofemu and Bynes. Two new additions. And that's going to be a header right on target. Off the head of David Chichaucaro. Saved by Yertle. Chicago's best chance so far. They're continuing to show that they can play through Indy at times. Doing really well to begin to play themselves into the game. Shook a look. Quickly surrounded. There's four players around him. The shot does come in. It was a bit awkward in the end for Yurdle. He does get a touch. It's a Chicago corner. Vicious strike from that distance, but it does cause trouble for Ordo. Bought a ticket, didn't win the raffle, but gets a corner. It's bent in nicely off the set piece. It was Pareba who was closest to it. Now then, Collier through a sea of Chicago defenders. They nearly play their way through. It's Martinez! It fell ever so kindly for him, but he just couldn't hit the target. It's a good chance here. Indy 11 does well to stay aggressive and keep whipping service into the box. The tough strike there. He also wish he could have kept it on target. Credit there to Elliot Collier, just keeping that play alive. Before oh, the cross came in. Martinez nearly had it onto his tally. Now then, here's Pareba. Tried to run onto it. Stanley beats him to the spot. It's a chance for Indy to break up the other end. Decent ball played in for Mines. Tries to flick it to keep it in play, but it's dealt with by Koenigs. Osorio looking ahead. Trying to find Shukaluk. Dealt with by Ofemu. It's out for a Chicago throw. Famu. Six minutes plus stoppage time left in the half. Still feels like there's a few more chances upcoming. Los. Checking it past Martinez, the only goal scorer to this point. And he nearly won that back. There's Watton who's trying to get there. He's on it again. Losing out. Chicago win the ball back. Pareba. Chichaucaro. Glasgow joins him on the overlap. Chichaucaro plays a ball centrally here. Chance for the shot. Kofi's effort is tame in the end. And Harold didn't have to make too much of a tough stop. See there Sean McCauley who's... CV is rather impressive in itself. You can see there that Indy can make a bit of history tonight. They have never won on the road in an Open Cup tie. Five losses and that one draw was that draw against Chicago Fire where they lost on penalties. We mentioned that earlier back in 2016. We are into three added minutes at the end of the half.
And from the corner, it goes agonizingly wide for Indy. I think it was Ofemu on the back stick that had a real chance at that. Chicago restart via a goal kick. Now then, Chicago get a chance to hit back on the counter. Glasgow. Chichaucaro across the middle. Gibson is there for Indy. Both of these teams are capable of coming up with chances at a minute's notice. It's a good whipped in ball here. There's any set piece opportunity, you gotta feel that Indy's at advantage, just with bigger, stronger guys. Let's not beat around the bush, but they are bigger and they are stronger and they are more experienced. So it'll be a tough challenge, just in the second half, they can stay strong in the set pieces. Coffee, Ooh, he gets past one challenge, and he plays it into the middle. Side netting, Osario, for Shukaluk, who is looking for a free kick. And that's the last act of the first half here in Bridgeview. Douglas Martinez had his shooting boots on for Chapter Indy 25. early. Halftime substitutions for Chicago Fire 2. Indy are in control at the start of the second half. Entering we can tell you that Coach Ludo in Chicago here. made a couple of halftime alterations. Giovanni Granda and Sergio Orejel Jr. have both come on for the hosts. Javier Casas Jr. and the aforementioned David Chichao Caro have both made way. Of course, Indy had that first half change we alluded to. Maka King came off for Aiden Stanley. And Indy are trying to get off to a bright start in the second half as Martinez tried to play the ball in. Still could lead to an opportunity, and it's a beautifully bent attempt. Just going to go a fraction wide of the frame. Again, they're coming flying out of the gates in the second half. Very promising to see for any 11 side. The likes of Blake and Elliot Collier really making life difficult there. For Chicago, could have very quickly been 2 0 down. And we talked about it earlier. Chicago were 4 0 down in their last league game, and they came back to get a point. So. 1-0 is certainly doable. Do not have much time to work with. We will see how Chicago does in the second half. But they certainly have a decent amount of the momentum from the end of the first half. Bright start to the second half for the visitors. They're a goal away from maybe taking complete command. Now that a chance to break for Indy in transition. Advantage is played on the back side of this. Ben Mines cutting it back. Mines plays it across. And trying to play an outside of the boot pass out wide. He gives the ball away. I see Indy be a little bit more clinical there, especially in that 3v2 moment. Pressure from Mines, too much pressure. Free kick. Morayhel Jr. under pressure, almost lost it, got it back immediately. Still getting his feet wet. It seems as if Chicago isn't straying away from the game plan. They still continue to try to play out of the back. Now then, here's Osario. A chance for Pareba. He sneaked in that near side. Christian Coffey. Some cross into the middle. It's dealt with by Indy. His pain. Femu were closest to it. And Coffey, clever. Gets it past Mines and then gets back onto it. Rochester. Is it centrally? There's a brief opportunity there for Pareba. And Indy do just about enough, but it comes out for a chance at a volley. I think it was deflected as it went off the boot of Sergio Orejel Jr. 
four promising moments from Chicago, just no breakthrough. There's been a few moments where Indy have rode their luck a little bit in this one. Rahel Jr. And Chicago come up with, with this latest attack. Rochester. Junior, Coffey through a crowd and wide. It looks like that North Carolina, Carolina core game. Osario from the corner. And no one for Chicago could really get their heads to it. But they're going to get a second opportunity. Corner will be at the opposite end. It still feels like this game is capable of a few more late twists. Osorio from the second opportunity. It's going to come right back to him. Pareba, and still or took a deflection off of Shukaluk, and it's saved by Ertl. Final 12 minutes, and from the free kick, Collier's clearance sends it out for a corner. The way Chicago's playing, it feels inevitable that they'll equalize. So for Indy, it's important to manage the game and relieve pressure, get it out of your half, get down into their goal, get a corner kick, a free kick in a dangerous spot, a shot on target just to get your foot back in the game. It's a short corner. And Glasgow plays it across. That could have gone anywhere. Indy clears. Rochester. Orejel Jr. unleashes one. And it's bent just over the bar and out of the reach of Yertle. He does well, he has so much time and space, he decides to take one. And it's an ambitious strike where the ball has some movement on it. Well, he's one of the promising midfielders for the Chicago team. Just a glimpse. Of what he's Here's a chance for Indy to settle the issue. Williams taps it in, but the flag is up. Indy incensed initially here, but Looks like in the end the goal is not going to count after Ikoba trying to get a chance to play it across. Totally against the run of play. That would have been a heartbreaker for Chicago. But they live on. I want to see them stay aggressive and keep attacking. At this point there's not much to lose besides setting your numbers up and going for it. Coffee's opportunity here. It centrally, Pareba. It's going to be Glasgow saved by Yertle. Keep Indy ahead. Okay. Williams does. It's a free kick. Chicago have huffed. They've puffed. The Indy house stands tall for now. Get another chance here on a chop back. First time ball into the middle. He's headed once and twice out. Osario's volley. He's tame. And Indy again holding on just about. in this game, 0.64 for Indy. Chicago at 1.31 in this game. They've certainly been prime candidates to score. It just hasn't happened. And that is the final act here in Bridgeview. Indy 11 survive a late Chicago onslaught.
and they advance to the round of 32.